Hey girl, what's up? I was just calling one to see if you wanted to go to dinner tonight. Uh, I wish I could, but I am like up to my eyeballs getting these, these um, apartments ready for Bob. Well, I hope you're making a ton of money on this new venture. Um, I was so excited for the co-hosting gig that I didn't even talk to him about how much I'm going to get paid for this, when I'm going to get paid for it. Whoa, 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 stop. You know better than this. You don't have anything in writing you're working without a contract. I was just excited, Annette. Okay, well, we got we to gotta slow down before we speed up. I'm coming right over. If you are as excited as we were to get started in this industry, you're going to be like, yes, I can help you. I can manage the cleaners. I can make sure the guests are happy. I can make sure your property is being cared for. I'll build all the furniture, <laughs> whatever you need. But here's the thing. If you're leaving it to a handshake deal, you're leaving, not only you're leaving so much money on the table, but there's a lot of liability involved too. So the owner needs you just as much as you think you need the owner to manage a short-term rental. And uh, we just want you to value your time and your services. This just in from our attorneys. Please be advised, you must check the real estate laws in your area when it comes to any sort of property management. This just in, if you also want to design and set up the rental, that should be considered a separate service. You can still use your co-hosting contract for the separate service, but it should be an addendum and include a different timeline. Back to your regular scheduled program. There are many components to your co-hosting contract, but the most important is how much you're gonna get paid. What's included in your commission? What's not included? When do you get paid? If the owner is late paying you, what happens, right? Like you're gonna have bills and things to pay and so getting paid on time is something that you need to make sure that you have dialed in before you start managing the property. We know that you might just be getting started but you have to think the owner may have an exit strategy which includes them selling their home. How are you gonna be protected? Just wanna go over a few things that might come into play. Number one, if they do wanna sell the home, when are they gonna show the home? How long is your contract gonna last? Can you possibly have first right of refusal? If you know that that property is bringing in a lot of cash, why not try to buy it yourself? Just some of these things, please keep the exit in mind, not only for yourself, but for the owner. Have you thought about this? When you get a guest, they don't wanna wait for the faucet to stop dripping. They don't wanna wait for the handyman to come and you know, swap out the smoke detector that won't stop beeping, right? You need to be able to make decisions take and make them fast. Action. You've got to take action and be able to provide what your guest needs. And going back and forth with the owner about potentially spending some money is a waste of time. This is why we have a minimum spend. Yeah, you need to have a minimum spend already decided on, like no matter what, if it's going to affect the guest reservation or the property and it's under $400, you, as the property manager, as the co-host, have permission ahead of time via your contract to make that decision, spend that money, and have the owner compensate you for it at the end of the month. If you're like, ladies, this is so much information, how am I gonna possibly know how to put together a co-hosting contract? We got your back. We got your back. We already had our lawyers draw up a contract. We spent thousands of dollars on this contract, but if you join Hosting Business Mastery Method, our coaching membership, you get the contract as part of your membership. So if you want to find out more, go to thanksforvisiting.me forward slash workshop.